two months ago, Renon contacted a ton of different creators for a little... Well, not so little video about Endwalker and Dawn Trail. I was one of them. Naturally, in a video this big, only so much could be included. So I wanted to share my full submission. Save it for the future. If you wish to watch Renon's full video, the video is in the description. I do recommend it as it is a love letter to the game. My favorite memory from Endwalker is probably my Omega Protocol Ultimate Clear. Ultimates are always a hell to go through, but this one was a bit more personal Four. for me. Endwalker rating was not kind to me, and I was just not happy with how things were going. I was often not having fun. Dragon Song Reprise Ultimate ended up being a bust. After clearing Abyssos and doing reclears, I left the static I was in since the end of Stormblood. A good three years with largely the same team. Over. With trepidation, I joined a group for Omega. They were cool and fun to be around. I could start to feel myself having fun again, and I really enjoyed the fight. I even was the one to manually mark people for Run Dynamis Sigma, because I was insistent we do this legit. But of course, it was still on low number days and hours compared to what many groups might do. A few nights a week for three hours usually. So progress wasn't as fruitful as more consistent days might have been. So days went on, and on, and eventually patch 6.4 was around the corner. On the final raid night, the final pull, we buckled down and killed this thing. On patch, we killed the Omega Protocol. And I broke more than even the Endwalker story broke me. I always feel such relief after an ultimate clear, but this one was different. And will probably be the only one like that. I felt a hundred pounds lighter when that clear scene started. What I'm looking forward to in Dawn Trail is actually the story and cosmic exploration. For all my fun with hardcore raiding, I love the casual stuff the game involves. I got the Saint of the Firmament in the first ranked season, back when that was happening. Island Sanctuary was something I got right into with Endwalker. Cosmic Exploration? We might not have info, but I really want it. Then the story, the Endwalker fanfest revealed so very, very much. But when we finally played it, we learned, oh, the fanfest was bluffing. We learned nothing. So when they go up on stage and say, hey, there's this Fantasy Star Online looking place called Solution 9, that seems absolutely bonkers and a giant spoiler. Well, we can expect the story to go wild places. Plus, given the name of Solution 9, we might be able to fight Kuja, and I'm all for that. Then there's also Wook Lamott. She's like, amazing? I want to learn more about her and what kind of stuff she put Aaronville through. Cena, her voice actor, seems like such a cool person and gives Wook such life. I want to hear her full performance. From what I've seen online, I'm hardly alone there. She's already in the running for a lot of people's favorite scion, even if she's technically not one.